Our Chicago Forge Hub is located just west of the city of Chicago in a town called Itasca. It's a quaint little community with good schools, good government, and a history of church. It considers itself a modern-day Mayberry, which is probably a pretty nice thing to consider yourself unless you're running into a world that is struggling with the idea of higher than expected corporate profits, higher than expected costs of living, higher than expected diversity than you ever could have imagined in the town of Mayberry. Of course, this came all to a point and a head when a local coffee behemoth made a decision that it no longer wanted to be a part of Mayberry. It wanted to move a block down the road because, quite frankly, they would give them the drive-through that they needed because their <laughs> shareholders wanted more profits. This, of course, would cause quite a bit of flux in the town. What are they going to do now? Where would people meet? How is this going to go forward? At one point, there was even a Save Our Starbucks uh, campaign going on. It was crazy, but we as the hub here in Chicago made a decision to kind of listen to the people. What we heard is that there was a need to connect that there was a need for gathering space, that there was a need to serve the commuters who go downtown and come home every day. There was a need for after-school care for elementary kids because that's where they hung out, the Starbucks after school. And then of course, there was a need for some love in this community that offered grace and mercy. We made a decision to call our friends over uh, in uh, Colorado. They provided for us a, a good uh, understanding what it would take to start a coffee shop. Uh, then we invited in a local entity to tell us a little bit about our space and how much it would cost us. And then when they heard what we wanted to do, they actually made a suggestion. You know what you might want to do? Why spend all this money? Why not just get a coffee truck? Well, that really moved us to action. We created a small patio outside our garage area, and then we went out and landed a coffee truck. It would be provided by a local restaurateur, and uh, we didn't even know who would run it, but we decided we'd go out for some grants, and sure enough, we got $10,000 to buy some coffee equipment, which isn't much, but it provided just enough to get us off the ground. We would launch outside the center, and it would be an amazing time of meeting our neighbors, we didn't have somebody who was actually ready to run it yet, but then one of our partners stepped up, uh, Positive Intentions, made the decision that they would run the coffee truck and all the profits that would be made would go to help those in recovery. It was a wonderful time in which people would connect, people would stop by, there would be conversations, old folks, uh, numbers of people would be having conversations just outside the coffee truck. We really were pouring unity into the community. It really became a focal point on Halloween this year when over 500 cups of coffee and hot chocolate were given away. <laughs> what a wonderful time and what a wonderful time to hear. You know what? I wish my community did something like this. I wish my church was this inventive. Wow, this is really amazing. You know, it was uh, good for us to hear because we thought about uh, trying to continue all winter long in Chicago, but it gets a little cold around here. So we decided to put the truck in mothballs until the spring. And so in the spring of 2022, we'll reopen again to pour a little bit more unity into the community.